come in. You're now rocking with the greatest. Reacting to the old and reacting to the latest. Every single genre that's Birdman's taste. Everybody's welcome here in Birdman's place. Yeah. Who was shaking bacon? Birdman here. Welcome to my place. As always, thank you for stopping on in. Ladies and gentlemen, you have tuned in to yet another reaction slash review video. And we're going to dig right in. But first things first, I'm going to need you to do something for me. Follow me on twitch.com slash birdman's place for all of my live streams. They're the lifeblood of this channel. They're a marathon and we have a blast. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need you to go ahead and relax. Take your shoes off. Kick your feet up and enjoy because we going to have some fun today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited because I'm going to be reacting to an artist I haven't reacted to in a while. The last time I did a song by this guy, it was called Hi, Ren. Uh, this is Ren. The song is called Dear God. Uh, the reaction is sponsored by Alice. So thank you, Alice. I appreciate it. Um, I, I, I'm excited. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, there's really only one thing left to do. Don't like that he didn't capitalize the G in God. But... I mean, it is what it is. Let's get it. Hello. Uh, it's Ren. I don't really know how to start this letter. Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> is this life really what it seems? Because lately I've been in this place between awake and dreams. I know I only reach out to you when I'm feeling blue. I promise I'm not using you. I'm just confused. I've got some questions I would like some answers to. Like, is there meaning to this state of short existence? My existential thoughts, your hope there are, cause I'm resistant To thinking that there won't be something better in the distance And God, is there an afterlife where pain is non-existent? Yes. The answer is yes. Yes, this life is short. Um, but that's only because we are only here on Earth for a short period of time. Um, we have that opportunity to get closer to God. Through his son, Jesus Christ. And if we do that, and we choose to be close to God instead of separate ourselves from God, then we get eternity with him instead of separate from him. It's all our choice. He doesn't force us. He doesn't make us. He lets us choose where, what we want to do. Do we want to be with him or do we not want to be with him? It's our choice. If you're up there, God, do you sit upon a throne? Or are you a humble soul wearing sandals and tattered clothes? Do you mingle with the people like an equal then on Sundays? Just kick back and chill and put your feet up. Did I really choose this life that I'm living now? Will my sins be forgiven if I speak them out? I won't lie to you, God, if there is a heaven. I really hope I get there, because for real it sounds like heaven. So, any sin is forgiven when you accept Christ. Any sin. Um, they've already been forgiven. They were forgiven 2,000 years ago when he died on a cross. He took them from you. You just have to accept him. Um, so, yes, your sins are forgiven. Um, what else did he say on there? Did I really choose this life that I'm living now? Well, yes, because you have free will. You choose whether or not you follow God. You choose whether or not you follow your path or his path. The world's path or God's path. Now, following God's path is going to always be better. It's going to be the best life you can live out. You just have to choose which route you want to go. And it is your choice. All of it's your choice. We have free will. We're not robots. Reading past the lines I just let go Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin. So many questions in my mind. A beautiful thing is that, you know, faith the side of a mustard seed can move mountains. So even if your faith is paper thin, you still have faith. And it's still enough to do whatever you need it to do. Just call out to him. Ask him to grow it. He will. But here's the thing about faith. Faith is not something that just is here and disappears. Faith is like a muscle. The more you use it, the more it grows. So use that faith. Trust in him. Let it grow. That's the way it works. They replay like an echo. They never stop my Messiah is porcelain. Dear God, 
Why do people kill each other in your name? Ooh, Is it really what don't. you want or have we lost our way? Oh, okay. I'm going to be doing a lot of pausing in this. So, why do people kill each other in your name? Because they don't understand who he was. and They don't follow him. The people who are killing people in the name of God do not follow God. They do not follow Christ. They don't. They follow religion. They follow this ridiculous ideal of what God wants because no God, God, God is about peace and love. And of course, you know, he doesn't want us to sin, but he does not want us to kill each other in his name because that's not in his name. Nobody has really killed anybody in the name of God. That's not what God wants. Not Christ. That's not the way this works. Is it really what you want or have we lost our way? Well, I think I already answered that. We've definitely lost our way. Um, Christ does not want us killing anybody in his name. He wants us to forgive our enemies. Show me another religion other than Christianity that says forgive your enemies. Love your enemies. Cause it seems like religion can cause division or people yep. living in prisons of moral values that given. People, religion can cause division. Yes, thank goodness Jesus Christ is not about religion. It's about a relationship. Moral values that given. What is right and what is wrong? Am I a sinner if I don't comply with everything that Moses said or is that dumb? And why do people disguise hatred in your name? Homophobia, a history of violent wars and causing pain. High priests in the tower stacking riches. Women burnt at the stakes called witches. In the name of God, Allah, Zeus, Jesus, people. That's religion. That is not the relationship. That is religion. That is a man-made religion. That is not Christ. Claiming lives justified by your allegiance. I think it's more complex than good versus evil. I think that there's both darkness and light inside people. Yeah, yeah. We don't fight against people. We fight against spiritual darkness. We aren't fighting against each other. We're fighting against dark spirits. Through different eyes, a man called a terrorist could be a freedom fighter if he's fighting for the side you're with. No. That's how a lot of people are. And that's sad. I just let go. Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin. So many questions in my mind. They replay like an echo. They never stop my Messiah is porcelain. So is it ignorant to claim that we know what you want? And if I fast for the Sabbath, is that what you want? Or okay. Is it ignorant to claim that we know what you want? No, because it's in his book. He tells us what he wants. He just wants us to trust and trust in Jesus and, and, and use the law to guide us to a good life. Nobody can completely fulfill the law, the Ten Commandments. It can't be done. But that is like a guideline. Follow Christ. We are no longer under the law. Now we are under grace. Um, if I fast for the Sabbath, is that what you want? I mean, it says clear in the New Testament that we aren't supposed to judge somebody if they don't um, fast on the Sabbath or even do the Sabbath. That's not That's not what this is. The Sabbath is made for man. Man is not made for the Sabbath. Jesus said that as well. So this is not something that we have to do. It's made for us to rest. It is good for us to do. We should do it. But Old Testament laws, you could be put to death for not doing it. That's That was not the plan. Um, after Christ, that was not the plan. Is that what you want? Or is tradition just superstition, religion, the human vision just crafted out of people's ambition? Listen, Ooh. I knew a girl that lost a baby before it was born. What's the purpose of that, God? What is it for? Why did my best friends die before I hit 25? Is it because there is something better in the afterlife? Yep, God. absolutely. And that's another thing. A lot of times kids and the righteous are taken away 
because they're being taken away from evil. If this kid, God knows everything before it happens. If he knew that this kid was going to go in the wrong direction, he might take that kid just so he didn't go in the wrong direction and he could be with him. And the same thing goes for older, for teenagers, 20 year olds, 50 year olds. God can take you at any time. If he wants you, it's your time. If he sees you're going the wrong direction, he will take the righteous to keep them from evil. That's in the Bible too. I've been feeling suicidal lately. Mental health is worsening. It feels like it might break me. If you're watching, you know that I've been strong. But God, how much longer do I have to hold on? Please just give me some solace. So that I know you've got my back. He does. Please just give me some relief. God, is that too much to ask? Hmm. Powerful. Powerful. I know I paused a lot in that one, but I had to. I felt the I felt the urge to. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful song. And it is questions that a lot of people have. Real questions. Real, real thoughts and fears. And it's... I'm glad he put it out there. And I hope it's got a lot of views. And I hope it gets a lot more views. Four years ago, 1.1 million views. Not near enough. Not near enough. Um... It's a lot of good questions. And I, you know, I, I've got the Holy Spirit. So I tried to answer those the best I could, but I'd love a pastor that has a little more um, knowledge on the subject to go through this and ask these answers and, and talk about this. I tried to do the best I could, but wow, that was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Follow me on social media. My links are right down here. If you'd like to be a member of the flock on Patreon, get some exclusive content, videos you won't see on the channel, videos YouTube doesn't want you to see that they blocked. Those are on there. You can get early access to my videos. You can get your request shot up the list faster. You can get 10% off of merchandise. And y'all, we're a family. We really are. Also, come check out my second channel called He Is I Am. If you're a Christian, if you're curious, if you have questions, there are answers to be had. We have videos about God, videos about different parts of the Bible, as well as videos about our walk with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So come check that out as well. Link also in the description below. Like, share, subscribe, pass me around. Let's grow the Birdman fam. Birdman fam flock, I love you guys. I mean it. I'm going to see you on the next one. All right, much love. Peace. Oh, I shake it, buddy. Birdman here. If you like this video, go ahead and become a member of the Birdman fam by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. Also, make sure to watch the videos on this screen as well as the playlist I've put together. You can also become a member of the flock, get some behind the scenes fun, early access, and your request shot up the list faster. Check that out as well. Birdman fam flock, I love you guys. I'm going to see you on the next one. Much love. Peace.